Yeah, it's, it's an outstanding league for these players. Uh, a number of our men's and women's uh, student athletes are in the Hobart Chargers squads. We have players from up north with Launceston Tornado. So it's another national elite level competition for, for young Tasmanians um, on their basketball and education journey. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. We have a, a really thorough um, you know, trial process right across the state. It's, uh, it's something that keeps building each year. It's very competitive uh, to make these teams. So week to week, we, we pick the, the best, uh, strongest te teams available. And we're really excited to be launching the season tomorrow night out at Sorrell. Yeah, it will be. It'll be uh, uh, the home for the University of Tasmania. We have the, the University of Sunshine Coast coming to town last week. The league actually tipped off last week. We had a buy in round one and Sunshine Coast are, are coming in. They're, they're a tough group and yeah, we, we just can't wait to get on court tomorrow. Excellent facility out in Sorrell. Yeah, there'll be a lot of familiar faces. Anthony Stewart coaches our women's team. We have players like uh, Zoe Banks, who's part of our you know, Hobart Chargers program here. Hope Brooks, Josie Pinkerton, who are part of the, the Launceston Tornadoes. So a you know, really tough uh, young group. Leah Bartlett, again, part of the Hobart Chargers. And with our men's play, uh, team, players like Jordan Stratzma, who received some big minutes with the Chargers last year. Jordan Walker, Brooklyn Bruton, the, the list goes on of players with NBL1 experience. Yeah, so it's almost like a state NBL1. It's a really um, great development opportunity for these players who may play behind uh, US imports and NBL, WNBL players. So here they have a bigger role. They play midweek and then uh, for a lot of them, they'll be suiting up for their NBL1 clubs on the weekends. Yep, so it was top eight for both teams. Uh, in a very competitive league, knockout quarterfinals. Both games went down to the wire, and this year we're looking to go better. We'd, we'd love to be in the top four and, and competing for a championship. There are 14, 14. Uh, there are 43 uni sport uh, universities across the country, and 14 of those are participating in the, the university basketball league. Yeah, there have been uh, a number of changes. Uh, for example, a player. Uh, like Shana Thompson was part of the women's team. She's gone on to play uh, in the WNBL as a development player. And just around release from her NBL1 program wasn't able to be part of it. Similar with our men's program, Phoenix Roby is now playing in Taiwan. And uh, he had an outstanding season last year. Harry Griffiths injured. So a big part of the team is returning, but we do have some players that we've uh, unfortunately had to say farewell to. Yeah, it's certainly a great exposure opportunity for our, our teams and our players. Uh, the games are a live stream, so right across the country and globally, there's uh, every every uh, chance that teams could be watching, looking for the, the next hot property coming through university basketball.